Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I am Pat with Shaken. Happy Saturday. It's the weekend, guys. I hope you guys are got some having a great day and getting a great start to your day and have some great weekend plans. Thank you for joining me again, guys. All right. Thank you for all the love that you bring to the channel, all of the subscribers, as well as the new subscribers and all of the comments. But please limit your comments to one or two, not 20 or 30. Okay. So thanks for joining me again. I truly appreciate you guys. Okay. So I got some energy here and this might be a little aggressive video and it's all about black magic and spell work that's being put on you all right somebody consider you the third party all right and they're doing all of this spell work on you it's very aggressive okay and somebody's doing this to your lovers and anybody that you date or anybody you love your baby mamas and everybody they doing spell work basically on everybody that you love okay and any secret bitches or side pieces or anything like that okay now once again your ancestors is here they said they're here to teach some people some lessons. There are being some lessons learned here. All right? It's some shit that's about to go down, okay, because of this spell work. Somebody have not learned their lesson about this spell work, so divine, your ancestors, the tribe have stepped in, okay? They're serious about this now, okay? And here's again, your ancestors, okay? They're here. They finna dead some shit. Okay, they're serious about this shit. Seven of swords, seven of sticks. Somebody is tired of somebody fucking with you. All right. And this is, I'm sorry, seven of wands. Yeah, somebody is tired of them fucking with you, trying to come at you. They doing plotting and scamming and strategizing against you. And divine is strictly tired of this shit. Okay, they tired of it. Somebody's trying to stop you from getting your wish fulfillment. All right. All of the things that divine has in store for you. Someone is trying to block that and they're doing spell work against that. But ain't Ida, ain't Ida, Auntie Ida. She see that shit. All right. This is your ancestral auntie. OK. And she see all the spell work and all the candle magic that's being done in this situation. And divine said they doing it here so they can stop this friendship or this union. They want to stop the union. It's like. They're fighting against divine. You're the tribe. Who the hell fights against divine? Okay. And divine said they've been a little forceful and a little aggressive because they continue to do this. All right. And they said they know it's not just one. They know it's a tag team of motherfuckers that's doing this. And they know that they have bad intentions towards you. Okay. They know this. All right. They feel trapped in their head. They could be getting hunted. Because your ancestors and divine, they're working just as hard as they are. All right? They're working just as hard as they are. Okay? Because they're trapped and you're single, nine of pentacles, you're happy and you're free. And somebody just don't want that to happen for you. Okay? They just don't want that. Okay? And divine said it's bad, bad timing for this connection right now. This is bad timing. Okay? Is not a good time for this because they have to take care of some shit in the background first, okay? And someone could be dealing with someone that they met online, and now they feel like they should have left that person online, okay? Somebody's pissed off about that. They doing this spell work against you because they think it's all your fault, Divine Film. Whoever you are, somebody think it's all your fault, okay? And this is why they're doing spell work. All right. Somebody's constantly having random one night stands and just picking up people here. Somebody could have body shamed somebody due to their weight. All right. This is another reason why they could be doing spell work. All right. Somebody's definitely dealing with the same sex. OK. And somebody's always in and out of your life in your bed. OK. So that's why they're doing spell work here. All right. And somebody is just very disrespectful. They could be with you, but yet they still flirt and fuck with other bitches or, you know, take, you know, however it applies. And somebody's definitely having strong structural, so I'm tongue tied, so, strong sexual addictions. All right. So that's what's happening here. And somebody tongue tied because they want to talk to you. They don't know what to say to you. This is my um, narcissist empath energy here. You know, where, you know, it's a narcissist who know that you see right through them 
and they don't know what to say to you because you might question, you know, the shit that they say and they don't want to tell any truths. This is someone who would take their shit to their grave. All right. So just be cautious about this. Okay. And then I have another ancestral message um, from the divine. All right. And when I get these messages, it's like, I literally hear someone talking to me and, um, I was like, I'm stopped. Like, what do you say? What are you saying? I hear like someone saying to me, talking to me. All right. Let me turn this little blues jazz music down. I like little stuff like that. Okay. And, um, the message is the collective is not your enemy. You are your enemy. And soon you will take yourself out of your own misery. Hmm. That's the message. And I'm going to leave that there. All right. So Holy Spirit, I'm going to leave these third party black magic cards here on the table. All right. And we're going to go off into these energies and we're going to find out why and what is going on with this. I always try to keep you guys abreast, no matter if you want to hear it or not. All right. I do label the video. So if you don't want to hear about this, please click off. OK, I am not a karmic because I am doing a black magic video. OK, so, hey, y'all know who I am. I'm the fucking queen of wands. All right. And I say it like it is. Love it or fucking leave it. OK, here's your option. Here's your chance to click the fuck off because this video might not be what you want to hear. All right. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Okay, welcome back, everybody. I gave them a chance to click off. Okay. <laughs> all right, you know, y'all know I'm silly and shit, all right? <laughs> okay. All right, Holy Spirit. And hey, I want to give a shout out to all my clients I had this week. You know, it's like everybody's standing into their power. You guys are finally realizing that you are tired of the what the fuck shit. All right. Every, every one of y'all talk to me said, girl, this fuck shit, this fuck shit. Y'all talk just like that shit. So I am so proud of y'all. And I just want to say, hey, thumbs up. Okay. So let's get off into this energy. All right, we're going to find out what's going on with this third party black magic and the spell work that's being done against you. All right. Mm. All right. Because it's like a lot of doubt here. All right. It's a lot of doubt. That's why they keep doing this spell work. And, you know, they even doubt that it's going to work. OK, they even doubt that shit, but they still go ahead and do it anyway. All right. What are the messages here? All decks have been shuffled. Yeah. See, I told you guys they're being hunted. They are being hunted about all this fuck shit they did doing hold on, that they're doing with the spell work. They're being hunted. It's like a rush, just still energy that, you know, I want to get this message out. It's like excitement here, but divine is letting you guys know that you are protected. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. They doing this because they're scorned and they pissed off. All right. They kind of let this energy, you know, and this life and being worried about this connection kind of ruin their life. They put too much energy into this and it's not even worth it. That masculine energy probably wasn't even worth it. You know, it's like nobody really won here. And now it has turned ugly and it has kind of jeopardized people's lives. All right. Your life is not a lifetime movie. Let this shit go. All right. It's not worth it. You know. Be true to yourself. Step back from this. Love yourself more. All right? You're dealing with someone who's scorned and pissed off. You know? This person is very hunted. Your ancestors are hunting this person because of this energy. They're being hunted here. All right? They could be seeing their own demise because they know they've been so hateful. You know? They don't have to be like this. And this is what divine is warning them and telling them that. All right. They feel disconnected. They could have gotten disconnected from this connection from that person. And they in fear of being disconnected from that person. All right. And you are already disconnected from this. So they're still kind of stressed about this energy here. Holy Spirit. Yeah, this is. Yeah, they feel sold out. They feel cold and dark. All right. They feel really sad. You know, it might be a beautiful energy on the outside, but this is who they feel like on the inside. Like they got sold out in this connection. Somebody played with their hearts. 
And then it's like they went into some type of dynamic energy. Mm. Holy Spirit, what is this? Yes, they're very unstable. Somebody could be drowning in tears. Somebody might drown. All right, but somebody's just unstable. All right, it's skeletal energy here. I just feel like somebody might be in some water. Somebody might find a skeletal body in some water. I don't know where I got that from, but somebody just might. Okay? That could be totally off range, off topic. Mm. All right? Yeah, somebody's very vengeful and hateful. Somebody really want to hurt you. Somebody could have a weapon. As you see, there's an axe. All right? something could have happened by a body of water okay the next energy yeah somebody is fixated on revenge somebody is fixated on hurting you with this black magic it's like this is what they feel like they're going to do to get you back they have to get you back they are not going to let this go they're not going to let it go they're going to continue to do this against you because they are spiteful, they scorn, they hateful, all right? And they feel like this is all your fault. You know, not looking at the reality of the situation, all right? And they feel like this is the way that they're going to get to you. They pay high price for this, all right? And they're trying to go through big baller witch energy. All right, to make sure that, you know, you face some of these consequences that they're paying to get done on you. All right, the next energy is, yes, they're in pain here. They're suffering on the inside. You know, okay, so I hear Amy Winehouse. I don't know if I am channeling some energy from her. She is deceased, but she's telling me that somebody is in so much pain. That somebody could be overabusing drugs. Somebody is beautiful on the outside, but they hurt and ugly on the inside. Somebody could wear a lot of makeup and dark makeup or um, some type of golf look. All right. But they're really hurt on the inside and they're hiding how they truly feel on the inside. And that's why it's making them go to this witchery level. But also somebody could be over medicating um, drug abuse to numb their feelings to get through day by day because they in low vibrant energy and just be aware to just also suicidal energy. Okay. Somebody feel like they don't really have much to live for and they take a risk and do what they got to do. Cause they don't care about their own life anymore. All right. Somebody could have green eyes as well. Mm. Yeah. And it's just something shocking that they might do. Because they don't care. Look at this golf. Look, I just said this. Somebody who wear dark makeup, dark makeup around the eyes. This is exactly how Amy Winehouse was. She wore dark makeup, dark hair color, her bouffants. Because on the inside, it was something else that was bothering her. It was more to her than just what we saw. And that's what's going on with this person. It's more to them than what we see on the outside. It's definitely something going on on the inside with this person. So this is somebody who's very dangerous. Okay. And here's that dark makeup, those red eyes, that black fingernail polish. This is somebody who's in dark energy, but they call themselves like, thank you, Holy Spirit. You see my confirmation? They're in dark energy, but they might tell you guys, oh, it's my golf look, but really they witchery. All right. They're just hurt on the inside. This is someone that might be far gone. All right. Holy Spirit. Any more messages in this deck that you want to share here? Holy Spirit. Yes. And there's trying to escape this energy. And you guys are being advised to escape and leave this situation alone. You know, this is somebody who's on the edge. All right. Somebody could have escaped from them and left them. Somebody did not know who they met. It's a codependent energy. It's a lot of insecurities here. 
Okay, it's a lot of mental conflict with this person. This is maybe some energy that someone put them through that they could have been through before. And all of this energy done resurfaced in their life again. This could be a wound. This could be a childhood wound, a relationship wound that somebody has triggered somebody all over again. And now they have went to the extreme here. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is the other energies? All right, yeah, somebody is a coward. Somebody could have had left a situation, all right? They could have fucked around with somebody and really fucked with somebody's life and left them and escaped the situation. And now this person has turned into this person, all right? A full-blown witchery type of energy. Mm. All right, so let's move on to another deck. Any more messages, Holy Spirit, that we need to know here? Okay, yes, because somebody... They're trying to make sure that this person, your masculine energy, won't take any action towards you. They don't want this person to come near you, okay? They, they trying to invade, corrupt this twin flame journey, all right? And also, your jealous masculine could be watching you and stalking you, okay? So somebody definitely have bad intentions for you. Bad intentions, okay? And that's why they're doing all of this spell work because they have bad intentions for you, okay? So just be aware of this kind of stuff. I'm not trying to shake you guys up or whatever, but you know, a lot of you guys have been asking this stuff in your readings. So I'm just trying to give a lot of clarity here. It is more than just one person that's doing this, okay? Holy Spirit, what's the energy? Thank you. Yeah, somebody's lurking and stalking your social media. All right, they're definitely watching you, watching everything that you're doing, okay? Yes, and predicting evil eye. I mean, it's like heavy spell work here. I mean, how many more cards of spell work do we have to get? Now, we know we are divinely protected, but I just want you guys to see the heavy spell work, how heavy and envious and jealous that this is, okay? And this is evil eye, predicting the worst, wanting the worst, you know, for you. So just be aware of this. Yes. And this is, yeah, because the vice said they're going crazy. They're going crazy. Somebody is really having a mental breakdown. And the sad thing about it is it's like this energy that they're trying to put on you is centering their life now. And that's why they're going crazy, because this is what they wanted of you to go crazy. But now it's being returned to the sender and they're going crazy. Holy Spirit, Oof. give me the messages here. Yes, because they're obsessed with revenge. Somebody literally want your fucking head, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the energy? They're angry, they're pissed off, and they're watching you. Look at all of these cards, all right, plus this one, all right? So they're trying to cover their tracks. Someone could be trailing you. All right. Somebody could be following you. All right. Somebody's also dumping evidence. Someone could have evidence on them. Somebody's definitely following your tracks. They could have a GPS, a tracking device on your car, on your phone. Okay. But somebody's highly pissed off here. Yes. Look at that. They're trailing you guys. The next card is that they're trailing you. They're following you. And this is their intentions. They want to take action towards you one day. It could be at a light. It could be on a dark street. Somebody is definitely trailing you to set you up. Okay? And whatever this is setting up, they're trying to cover their tracks. They could have some type of evidence that they're trying to dispose of. It's like, is somebody planning to kidnap you? Okay? The next energy is somebody's always playing the victim. So someone's definitely acting great and sane and normal, but this is what they're planning in the background. All right. They're acting like, you know, everything is dandy. Oh, it's just not my fault. You know, nothing. They don't ever do anything. You know, they're playing no role in any of this drama. But Divine said this is who they really are. They're a psycho. Somebody's manipulating this energy, all right? It's a lot of negative energy going on here. This is a real dangerous person, okay? 
Yeah, this is your doppelganger, your copycat person. They're real dangerous at this point. All right? So divine is letting them know that the collective is not your problem. You are. You your own problem. Trying to imitate and copy someone else's life and it's not even necessary. I haven't found not one fucking person that I like to imitate on earth. Okay? All right? So Holy Spirit, yes. I told you guys they're watching tarot to track your every fucking move. And they could be getting tarot readings done on you. They know everything about you. And you, a lot of you guys don't even know who the fuck this is. All right? You don't know who this is, but you're very in tune and you're very aware through divine guidance and your ancestors. And, of course, the Queen of Wands. Okay? The next message is, yes, they're trying to ruin your reputation. All right? They don't want you to be successful. They could be trying to badger your name. They could be trying to fuck you over to do anything to put out something negative about you so people can misjudge you. All right? The mind said this person is an attention whore. They're not getting all the attention that you want. They want. So, you know, they're very needy for this. Okay? This is in reverse. Yeah. It's like they're shady. All right? But it's like they know they're shady. They want to stop being shady. But it's too far gone. And this is how people see this person as shady. You know, just shady. They want to come out of that energy. Any more messages here, Holy Spirit? Yes. If somebody is not taking their mental health medication, they definitely have a mental problem. And somebody's not taking their medication. It's a lot of pills here. That means someone is not taking it. All right. They're not taking it. And that's why they're having this mental breakdown, Divine is saying. They're having a mental breakdown because they're not taking their medication. If they take their medication, they probably wouldn't even be feeling like this. You know, divine said with all these bad intentions towards you. They really want to hurt you. All right. So I'm going to do a little clarify on the bad intentions card. And we're going to leave that out here. All right. Because this, this is a lot of ugly, nasty energy. All right. So I just want you guys to stay protected here. And it's like even, yeah, look at that. They want to have a physical fight with you. They really want to hurt you. Somebody wants you dead. And it's like if the black magic don't work, they want to physically do it themselves. Mm -hmm. Look at this confirmation, okay? They want to physically do it themselves. This is in reverse. What is this? Wow. Divine said this black magic will end. This will end. It's in reverse. Because like I said, if it don't work, they want to physically hurt you. If the magic is not strong enough, you're not dying in a car crash. You're not having a heart attack. The voodoo dolls aren't working when they stab you and beat you to death. Ain't none of that shit working. You keep coming back on the scene because you are angelically and you are divinely protected through divine and your ancestors. So it's like their magic is not working. They could also be losing finances due to this. So now they feel like they'll just try to kill you themselves. Okay? Woo. Through what? Through this fight. All right? So please be aware that they really want to hurt you. Okay? Holy Spirit. Woo. Get me out of that energy, Holy Spirit, please. All right? Mm. Let me get my little spray here, you know? That's some a toxic ass energy, Holy Spirit, around. Please cleanse and remove this negative toxic energy out of my reading, Holy Spirit. All right. So we're going to find out what went wrong here. All right. And this is, they feel like this person could be paying too much attention to you. All right. When you was with this masculine energy, they could have gave you all their attention. So they got mad and started doing spell work. So this person wouldn't pay attention to you anymore. All right. Holy Spirit, what went wrong? Why did they have to resort to evil eye? Wow. All right. Because they wanted, they was jealous because someone else was making them happy. You were making your masculine happy and they were so jealous. They were. All right. And a lot of you all, some of you feminists could have had kids with these masculines. They were jealous as hell about that as well, that you had a child with their person. Okay, 
Holy Spirit, what went wrong here? Why did they have to resort to this? Please let us know. All right. It was too much going on. You know, they were spending too much money. They was concerned about this person taking care of you. They feel like they was getting left out. All right. Holy Spirit, tell us what went wrong for this reading. They couldn't talk to this person anymore. They felt like this person was changing. They didn't understand them anymore. It was like they was losing a grip on this person. All right. This person's just got disrespectful. This person was checking out other people. They mad that this person always checked out other people and they was with this person. They was jealous of this person being with other people. Holy Spirit, they jealous. What is this? Mm -hmm. It's just they not on the same page. There was unrequited interest here. They just not on the same page. They could have ran into this quickly for sexual reasons and it died. This became a sexual connection, friends with benefits. It was no love here. They got mad about that. All right. And they got physically abusive here. It was fighting and everything going on here. This masculine could have hurt them, beat them up or something. They feel like they went through a lot with this person. Holy Spirit, what else went wrong here? All right. And it was like double dating and sharing each other. This masculine made them have threesomes, orgies, sex parties. All right. It's like a masculine could have had said we was going on a double date, but at the end of the date, they switched up and, you know, it turned out to be a swingers thing. Okay. Mm. And this is time for others, but not for them. They feel like this masculine always got time for everybody else or be up in everybody else's face, but theirs. They was jealous of everything here. All right. They felt like this was a tough love. They tired of arguing with this person. They did nothing but argue with this person. Still couldn't get anywhere with this person. And then here come your ass. All right. So they was mad. And this is blowing up their phone 24-7. They keep calling this person with love messages. This person was barely responding. All right. And also this person could have been sending you a lot of love messages here. All right. You intimidate this person, and that's why you're doing spell work on you. You could have your shit going on. You could be financially stable, nine of pinnacles, and they jealous, and they mad here. Yup, because they tired of this person watching you and paying attention to you and not them. All right. Holy Spirit, what is the energy of what went wrong here? What went wrong with this? Why did they continue to do this? All right. Because they're not happy anymore. They know your their person, your person or whatever is not happy with them. Yeah, they're not happy with them. And this is, yeah, um, kicked out or being left. They could have kicked your person out. They could have left your person or vice versa. However it goes here and seen something for what it, for themselves. Yeah, um, this karmic energy could have got busted. All right, or the masculine could have got busted. You know, somebody got busted here and kicked out of a home. For cheating. Someone could have had someone at their home. All right. And cheated on them. At their home. Okay. And you don't feel heard. This karmic just there. Or whoever this person is. They're just there. And this masculine energy is not really paying any attention to them. It's like unfulfillment. Loveless type of energy. Yeah. And it's too painful in this relationship. It's a lot of heartbreak going on here. It's like nobody happy. This has turned into some misery and it hurts too much to hang on. And then here you come with your ass. Okay. So that's why they're doing this um, spell work on you. All right. Yeah. And this person's definitely stalking this ex, stalking this lover, you know, doing hexes and potions. Trying to find out everything that they can do with this person. Finding out who they would. Where they going. It's definitely a lot of stalking and trailing going on here. All right. And um, because somebody was just in a relationship with them for just personal gain. So they know that this masculine energy just used them. All right. Just used them. And they really pissed off about that. And they feel like this person was nothing but a major fuckhead. So that's why they're doing spell work. This person could have been just a fucking headache to them. All right. And that's how they see this person played them. Just brought dramas and problems in their life. And it was always in and out. It was nothing, never consistent. Okay. So let's find out why they keep doing this spell work. And this is the T, more energy. All right. 
Why? Because they, like I said, they feel like it's all your fault and that this person played around too damn much with them. Okay? And they're really mad about it. All right, Holy Spirit, give us the messages you want us to hear. All right, so here's, a, this one belonged to my fuck shit deck, but here it is. Yeah, because this person kept having a bunch of secret lovers. So they're doing spell work on everybody, okay? Everybody who's involved with this person is catching spell work. I don't, it sounds like your mom and your daddy too, all right? Everybody here is getting spell work done on them, dealing with this person, all right? Yeah, because they pissed off. This person keep lusting over you, all right? This masculine energy, feminine energy, whoever it is, they pissed off that this person still want to sleep with you, all right? That's why they could be doing love spells, attraction spells, and every kind of shit and spell to get this person off of you, okay? Yeah. Because this person like, oh my God, I found my gift. I'm the, That's the perfect person for me. They trying to change that. Okay? And this is because this person love you. They ain't having that shit. This person don't supposed to love you. Okay? All right? This person is not supposed to miss you. They trying to cut all that shit out. All right? With your ass feeling special. All right? Mm -hmm. Look at all this shit. Can't come, come on out here. All right? But divine saying, this is not love, all right? They don't love this person. They just want to control this person, all right? Somebody don't know what love is, all right? And this is, they think it feels so good to be so fucking cold. Woo, they like this energy. They like being a bitch or they like being a manipulator. They like fucking over people. This is what they're used to here, okay? And it's like religion over everything. They mad because you're so fucking religious. They don't like you being fucking religious. They don't like you believing in divine spirit, ancestors, you know, your empathic star seed, you know, light worker abilities, whatever you got going on. They don't like it. All right. And this is come party with me. All right. This is like a drug overdose type of energy. Somebody wants you to party with them, but they popping pills. So just be careful that you don't go someplace and somebody be slipping you fucking pills. Okay. And somebody pissed off because every time they call this person, they're not never available. Okay, yeah, wow. And they pissed off because somebody could have left them pregnant. Mm-hmm. That's why they're doing all this spell work. Because they could be pregnant with this person's child and this person done ghosted them. All right. Why is they doing spell work? Yeah, because this person said goodbye. And they pissed off and they pregnant. Okay. What's the next energy here, Holy Spirit? What's the next energy? All right, yeah, because somebody play around too much. All right, they just feel like your person just play too much. Don't be truthful. They feel like you could be talking to this person, having conversations with this person. They're trying to stop everything that's going on here. They do not want you involved. Look at this shit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, <laughs> divine said y'all hearing all the fucking tea. Okay, y'all hearing all the fucking tea. Ain't it, Queen of Wands? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, and this is like, yeah, you got your walls up against this motherfucker because guess what? Y'all hearing all the fucking tea, okay? Y'all hearing all the tea from Queen of Wands, okay? And this is, y'all got y'all walls up, and that's what Divine's saying. And they still, in other situations, and their hands are still tied. And that's what Divine is saying here in this. And that's why they doing all the spell work on y'all, okay? So, what else we got here? I think that's it, guys, okay? Yeah, and they tired of this person being in and out of their life. <clears throat> All right, so that's what I got. If you guys want your own personal reading, give me a shout at queenwines50 at gmail.com. All right, and that's the tea. You heard it all right here on the Queen of Wines. Bye, guys. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.